Hey everybody, welcome back. David Eon and the lovely Miss Lady Pop Hunter sitting down in the museum yeah. and just having a little discussion and sharing it with all of you. Yeah. And basically talking about in the box or out of the box. <laughs> in the box or out of the box. Yeah. In the package or out of the package. Particularly where it pertains to toys and action figures mm -hmm. because there's a little friction there There's a little bit of friction there with some people about whether or not you should be opening stuff up mm -hmm. and We do a little bit of both Me more so than her because mm -hmm. I have a lot of six scale figures and Mezco figures and I've got Tamashi Nations mm -hmm. and I have my original G.I. Joe uh, a raw three and three quarter inch um, figures that are all open and displayed that way but a lot of the other stuff is sealed mm -hmm. and for the most part the stuff in the museum is still sealed in the box or on the card and I, I really feel like honestly the majority of collectors that's how they collect because especially with newer stuff mm -hmm. because they remember or they realize how hard it is to find the older stuff open now mm -hmm. and, and that's one of the big things that drives the price up one of the big scale differences between um, packaged and loose it can be astronomical yeah. because it can be incredibly hard to find certain things still boxed or loose but that's of course because back then we played with them Everything got opened. Nowadays, not so much. Yeah. Most stuff, most modern action figure and toy collectibles, I think they stay in the packages and not too many people open them up anymore. Mm -hmm. I think it's all about preference. Because I've seen many uh, YouTube channel where people, mm -hmm. they open their stuff up and they display it that way. Um, for me, I like to display mine in a box because... I like how the packaging looks. Sometimes yeah. um, some of the packages have really good card art or box art. And <clears throat> I want to display that too as part of the whole figure. So I want to see if it's a great window box and you can see the figure and the artwork. I want to be able to see both and display both and, and appreciate both of them. And if you take it out of the package, then you set the box aside or you set the card aside. Or you throw it out. Or you some throw people it just out. dispose of them. Yeah, and uh, some of that, you're throwing away really good artwork, yeah. in my opinion. Um, and I want to see that. I want to display that. And I, I agree with that. And mm -hmm. For, uh, you know, a lot of the packaging is very aesthetically pleasing. Mm -hmm. It's got good art on it or maybe it's just a really well designed package. Yeah. And it kind of frames the figure up. Yeah. Displaying it like these. I mean, the, well, you get some uh you get some artwork on the front of this, some basic yeah, they're, they're, turtle. Yeah, they're it's pretty, pretty basic. basic pretty but if you look at something like this, you know, it's not um it's not a lot of artwork and a lot of detail on there, mm -mm. but the figure is very nicely framed up. It is. It's and like then, a portrait. Yeah, and, it, and you know, you got your framing here, and you can see all that, and it just fits well. And then when you put it all together on the shelf, it looks good to the eye on the shelf. Instead of having it all out, and yeah. then you just seeing you know, just figures on a shelf. Um, so I like seeing everything, the packaging and how, again, like he said, some of the packages frame the figures well. Some don't, don't do such a great job. No. I have some, a lot um, of the newer, a lot of the newer toys, especially because yeah. back then it meant something for the, for the packaging to really pop. Yeah. You get the best sense of that from GI Joe. Really? Yeah. GI Joe did a great job on yeah. card art. It's some of the best card art out there, yeah. but, um, more modern figures mm -hmm. and packaging, they just don't get it. Yeah. And the packaging can be really like I have dull. this one uh, show because I always complain about this one. Uh oh, here we go. 
Yeah, I complain about this a lot. Mezco. This is um, Mezco uh, yeah. uh, Thundercast. This is Shitara. Uh -huh. But uh, Snarf is in here. Yeah. It, I mean, the, the card art is good. Yeah, the card art is great. And but you can't see Snarf. All Snarf the way around, is, too. Is, um, is right here. You can look. If you look in down, yeah, even it, it's if you like look between down her legs. You can barely see him. Because mm -hmm. her head covers it up. And then if you look around the rest of the box, yeah. the artwork all the way around on is the sides, really good. On the back, it, it's, it's just really nicely done box work. But yeah. they did a bad placement. <laughs> of snarf <laughs> they got him between her leg and but then her head is covering it up so it's like okay you know but she looks great in the box you got her picture a nice pose and yeah. then her inside the box frame weird really well and when you put her alongside the others the is a um continuous picture yeah, they, they all, kinda they all fit blend together, together. They, they did the same thing with the Maddie Collector Club Orco with Prince Adam. Yeah. Lay, he's laying in the bottom of the package. You can't even see him. Yeah, I have that one. Or with... Oh, here we go. Yeah. See, now, these are nice aesthetic boxes. Yeah, but, but that, Adam is all, down here. They're all laying exactly down. the same. Yeah. That's the one thing about them. Mm -hmm. They just kind of all blend together. Yeah. So... You know, sometimes they do a really good job. Others, you know, they they could have took a little more time or put a more, more thought Hasbro in Hasbro was really good about that. Here's another good example, actually, how they uh, got the, the box <clears throat> art. Mm-hmm. And, and look and at they that back. tied it all together. Yeah. See, that's great artwork. And you'll miss that if you took it out of the box and then you set the box aside or you threw it away. You're going to miss all of that. And, yeah. and a lot of time and detail went into that box art. And that, a lot of that I, I like. That's uh, something to give NECA some credit for, too. When they did the uh, Predator series, when they did the, um, the homage to Kenner Predator mm -hmm. line, the one mm -hmm. that's coming out now, they actually tried to track down the original... Artist, artist card artist so mm -hmm. that they could reproduce that type of card art mm -hmm. yeah, they, I don't think they could find the guy but they did the best they could with it yeah. and tried to make that really stand out because that's what they're trying to appeal to and that's kind of the appeal that Super 7 goes for with yeah. the reaction figures and they do really good yeah, on the, the card reaction. art on the reaction figures is nice the figures and the figures are meant to be cheesy yeah. it's meant to have a feel of like that late 70s kind of Mego, mm -hmm. if you know what I'm talking about, the three three quarter inch Mego figures from the 1970s uh, when they did like uh, Buck Rogers and Star Trek the motion picture and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Those figures are terrible. They I, and I have some, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm not knocking them. I love those figures, but they were terrible. Yeah. They were just badly done. There's no facial features, you know, there's no paint on the faces for mm -hmm. a lot of them. And, but, and they said, hey, let's recreate that just cheesy, you know, um, five points articulation action figure mm -hmm. and package it up with some great card art. Because if you look at the card art on the uh, uh, Miko Buck Rogers, even though they use the same card for every figure, mm -hmm. that, that that movie poster art, it really pops. Yeah. But um, honestly, as far as friction goes, I mm -hmm. see more friction coming from loose collectors mm -hmm. than from boxed ones because we do a lot of stuff on the channel and I've never had really anybody from who collects mint on the card or mint in the box knock people for opening stuff mm -hmm. but I have had a lot of people who do open figures complain about people who don't mm -hmm. Oh, you know, you're ruining the industry. I don't know where that comes from. You're ruining the industry. How's that ruining? You're taking all the fun out of it. Uh, the toys are meant to be played with. They need to breathe and all this other stuff, which Super 7, the guy from Super 7 yeah, says, they need that. to breathe, but he is trying to sell them to you. Just, yeah. just saying. Yeah. But uh, I, can't be I, I don't know why they want to complain about that. It's what, like, what do you care? Yeah, what do you care? What's it's, it to you? It's not your collection. Yeah. And, and if you want to open them, that's fine. You mm -hmm. know, like I said, I've got I got loose Joes. If I found 
a loose vintage uh, figure that was really nice, I would still get them. You know, I've got loose Miko Star Treks mm -hmm. that I have on display. That I, I, I love those, but I would like it carded too, you know. Yeah. I like both of those. I like the old Mego card art that's on them. But, you know, don't, again, it was something that's come up several times, don't steal people's joy. Yeah. I don't know why there has to be, uh, why there has to be a conflict here. If you didn't buy them, mm -hmm. you didn't give them to them, yeah. you know, I gave you that and I expected you to open it. Oh well, yeah. you know that's too bad. <laughs> now get me another one and I'll <laughs> get me open another that one. one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> if it's all banged up, if it's a real bad card, I'll consider it. Yeah. But and there are vintage collectors too, who they want really fantastic, loose examples. Yeah. And they specifically look for mint on uh mint on the card where the card is totally wrecked mm -hmm. so that they don't feel guilty about opening it up and having a fantastic loose, loose mint. Yeah. I had uh I had um some years ago some Masters of the Universe mm -hmm. some vintage Mattel Masters of the Universe and the cards were gone. I mean basically somebody I, I guess for stocking stuffers or something, they just snipped the card off and had the figure on the blister. Mm -hmm. And it was just on the blister with the card just gone. There was, there's no hang tab, nothing left. Not even the name of the character because they trimmed the thing. <laughs> but it was still attached. Mm -hmm. And somebody, um, I had these, and it was somebody who wanted to do a display, like a Castle Grace skull display with super mint loose figures. And he was like, oh, that'd be great. You know, mm -hmm. and so I, I, I did a deal with him. And yeah, and I get that. You know, yeah. I'm not going to say, oh, God, don't open it. If it was, like, a, a really nice card, that would break my heart. <laughs> but but they do. There are collectors who look for trashed yeah. boxes or or um, carded figures. And, you know, it, hey, they paid for it. Yeah. They paid for it. They invested their time, money, and, and effort and energy into it. Mm. And I'm not going to. I'm not going to condemn them for that. No. Everybody should be able yeah. to enjoy what they want in the way that pleasing to them. Mm -hmm. so. The one that I don't understand is mm -hmm. uh, statue collectors who never open them. Now that's something totally That different. confuses me. I've, heard, <laughs> I've only heard of one person. Really? That, yeah. I've seen a couple. Well, you know I deal with more uh, on that end. But mm -hmm. I've seen a few people and they just got crates and it's the and not, the shipping crate not even opened. Oh. And it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, at least take it out one time because and put it together and look at it. If you've got it intact and you keep that box mm -hmm. and the packing material, it really doesn't affect the value if you ha if repack and sell it. Yeah. As far as I've ever seen, if that's what people are concerned about. But I'm like, why would you take it? You know, and it's like, oh, I don't have a place to display. I've heard that one. I, have, I don't have a place to display it. Why are you buying statues? Yeah. Well, you got to get it now yeah. in, I, I, in I, preparation. I can see that. Now, if you getting it someday, in, yeah, in preparation, <laughs> that's one thing. Yeah. But if you never intend you, on taking, you got thirty it, of them in your at, in your attic. Yeah, then that's <laughs> something else. Because you know, of course, I have some some statues, and you do too. Yeah, I'll take those out. Yeah. Um, but I other, don't want to see them on display. Yeah. I like other to see than those that, up. no, I'm not taking it. And again, you know, they invested their that was their investment. Yeah, hey, if, yeah. if they, they want to leave them sitting in the crates, that's on them. Yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kick someone in the teeth for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not the guy on the beach kicking sand in your face while you're trying to, trying to take a nap. <laughs> But that's also, there's a lot of people in the collector's market, too. Yeah. You know, you've seen a lot of that. Another topic of discussion we might do another time. Uh, um, comic book people. What do they do? With the grading. Mm -hmm. And toy collectors, it's starting to get, because that's getting more popular with the toy collectors, is the grading mm -hmm. toys and action figures now, too. But there's a huge riff in the comic book uh, collecting mm -hmm. realm with grading. And even the people who grade can't can't uh, get on an even keel with each other. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of problems there. Um, there's a lot of desire for graded books, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of people who really resent it. And mm -hmm. then they resent you for 
which grading company you use. And it's like, who do you care? <laughs> but we'll talk about that in another discussion. I know you don't really. I don't know anything about She has a few. That. She has a, a few. She likes, uh, she's got a, a handful of graded comics that she likes to, uh, to put up on the wall because of the artwork and the association, mm. you know, like Thunder, vintage Thundercats, vintage Masters of the Universe, stuff like mm. that, because it ties in with all of this, which is cool. But, uh, you know, we'll talk about that in another discussion. Mm-hmm. But as far as this goes, I, I really don't see why there's any argument yeah. about what somebody does with their own property after they've invested their time, money, and effort into it. Yeah, if they Bottom open or line. not. And and just like we said before, it doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. You're going to have a naysayer. That's somebody true. Somebody is going to find fault <laughs> with something you do, you it's true. did. It doesn't matter what it is. So... You, you can't just desire to please everyone because it's never going to happen. It's you know, just not. I had one person uh, comment on this channel that our museum sucks because we don't have everything in Deltoffs. What's the, oh, those shelves. Those glass ca Nobody cases from Ikea. Mess. You don't have Deltoffs, so you may as well be running a mausoleum. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what does your collection look like? Yeah, do you even yeah, have one? Do you even have one? Yeah. But uh, you going to buy me a bunch of Deltoffs? Like <laughs> not up, likely because I'm not going to buy one <laughs> but yeah there's always it, it, like she was saying there's always somebody that, that um, they just want to pull the rug out from under you yeah it's just like oh man somebody's over there you know having a hard time let me go throw some water on them you know yeah. so. <laughs> you're drowning let me get a bucket of water yeah let me <laughs> let me pour some water Splash. on you splash mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, if you're in the box collector and you just you just really like the idea that it's still in the package, you like the way that it looks because of the designing of the package or yeah. however you do it, easier to display. Yeah, it is, it, I that's think the so. one thing I think it's a lot easier to display personally. Yeah. Or if you're loose and you like to, you just like to stand them up, or if you do dioramas, some people have loose now, collections. I like dioramas. Do really nice dioramas. Yeah, I love I. I don't have them because I don't know how to build them, but um, I've seen a couple of channels where people yeah. have a dot, and they're really nice. They put a lot of time and effort in that. Um, yeah. And I and I like seeing that. I personally don't want one, mm -hmm. but I like seeing it. I like seeing your collection if it's well displayed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some people you can tell they got overwhelmed. Yeah, they, they got two figures and they just fell to pieces. <laughs> so. yeah. but you know what do you think about all of that yeah yeah if you do you do you collect loose or carded some people do both if you and some people do both like i said we do both if you um if you do do you care how someone else does it mm -hmm. or do you have a problem with that and, and if so how come <laughs> what what's the issue you can tell you know no judgment no. You can tell us uh, tell us uh, what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Mm -hmm. Please do find us on Instagram, Open by Chance. Find us on our Facebook uh, page, and there are links for that down below. Find us on Patreon if you would like to check out what we do on Patreon because we do things, we do things there, or trying to do things there. Yeah. That we cannot do here. Plus, there's more contests. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, let us know your thoughts. Check out some of our other content. Mm -hmm. And we will see you again soon. So, thanks for watching.